There, finished. Tomorrow, Bill's Barbecue Bonanza will finally be open for business. Huh. Oops, <laughs> better check on the meat shipments. Make sure everything's ready for tomorrow's cook-off. Huh. Get your hands off me, you marmot! <laughs> I just love these old-style rope bridges. Yeah, they're totally cool and totally rickety. Why couldn't the villain have used that bridge instead? <laughs> just great! This rope is so going to chafe my manny. Clover, quick! Clover, drop and give us a hand! going swimming in there. Hurry! We can't hang on much longer! You two will be fine! You're super spies, remember? But, 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 I just got my hair done, and you know how cold water makes me frizz! So you picked your quaff over your best friends! Some apology! Look, I know you're mad, but you're safe. I'm safe. Whoop got the bad guy. Can't we just forget the whole river thingy ever happened? No! no. You know what your problem is, Clover? You're the type of girl who is afraid to get her hands dirty. <gasps> what are you talking about? I'm totally a hands-on type of girl. Right? Were you a hands-on type of girl last week when you called me out of an exam because there was a spider in your locker? Or two weeks ago when you refused to nab the florist felon because he smelled like earthworms? Or the time when okay. you- Okay, okay, I know I can sometimes be a girly girl. Ah. But you're forgetting all the times I have been there for you. You're my bestest friends in the whole world. You can always count on me. Maybe we are being too hard on you. Can you help me get this mud out? Super grody. Who knows what's in all that caked on gunk? Priceless! Thanks! Uh, not in the good way. Okay, okay! Next mission, I'll prove I'm a hands-on girl! Mud, gunk, goo, even spiders! Bring it on! Whoa! <laughs> Me and my big mouth! <laughs> I know I'm not exactly up on my fashion, but since when is the derelict look chic? Since about 20 minutes ago when we pulled ourselves out of a raging river. Come on, it wasn't that bad. <gasps> well, in that case, job well done. Now, for the reason I called you here, several people are missing from a nearby rural town. A butcher, a leather shoe saleswoman, and most recently, the owner of a new barbecue restaurant. Any leads on who may be responsible? That's where it gets strange. Broccoli and carrot residue were found at all three crime scenes. Nothing surprises me anymore. Even if it is way freaky. We better check it out. Now you'll need some gadgets for your mission. Oh, Gladys! You'll need the Sonic Disintegrator Boombox, the Suction Cup Bottomed Go-Go Boots, and three headband searchlights. Cool! They're just like the kind miners used to wear. Only way more fashionable. Be careful, girls, and keep me posted on your progress. <laughs> no malls, no billboards, no multiplexes? I am bored just flying over farmland. Where should I put her down? There. My research shows it's the only farm in town that grows both broccoli and carrots. Great detective work, Sammy. Plus, the corn is a great place to hide the chopper. Silk. If you let me finish, I was going to say this corn silk is totally, 
great for split ends. Plus, the natural look is so in. <sighs> right. Tell it to someone who's buying. <gasps> Do you hear that? I can hear it. I just can't see it over all this, uh, fabuloso corn. We better check it out. But first, let's do a wardrobe change in case anyone sees us. I really should rethink my position on gingham. We all look super cute. Now that we all blend in a little better, let's find out where that weird noise is coming from. Good news! I can see a farmhouse! Wow! That new country sure is powerful stuff! Oh, get your hands off me! Ah! Hey! Uh! Just like Jerry mentioned. Help! Hold on, Alex. Ah! Sorry. At least it scared off the attackers. Speaking of which, what was up with that? I don't know, but it's definitely not the warm country welcome I was expecting. Uh! Whoa! What are you doing on my land? We were, uh, uh, just looking for some farm work. <laughs> no, Vinny? Hmm. You girls got any experience? Tons. Uh, we can milk cows, slop pigs, feed the chickens, whatevs. <laughs> we just love getting our hands dirty. Right, girls? Definitely. Can't get enough of the dirt. I don't have any animals on my farm. Just organic fruits and veggies. That's even better. I'm a vegetarian. Hmm. Since you put it that way, I'll give you girls a chance. I'm out here all alone and could sure use the help. Guess we'll just see who likes to get their hands dirty now. Is that a challenge? Think you can handle it? And then some! Now that's what I call getting your hands dirty. <laughs> I've never been so exhausted in my entire life. I can't believe we spent an entire day working when we should have been spying. Think of it as research. We needed to get inside the head of regular farm peeps. <gasps> and if this is how they live, I want back out! <gasps> is that a spider? It's a farm, Clover. Did you think Farmer John was going to put us up in a five-star hotel? Okay, maybe not a five-star, but this is definitely a no-star. Luckily, I'm so tired I could sleep standing up. Hmm, that's weird. What's weird? If Farmer John is out here all alone, then who are they? <gasps> I don't know, but those two super hotties totally make me want to rethink farm life. They must be his sons. The family resemblance is undeniable. The photo was taken last month. Where could they be? You guys hear that? It's the same noise we heard earlier. It seems to be coming from that old barn. <gasps> from rustic to decrepit, this night just keeps getting worse and worse. It kind of sounds like a merry-go-round, though I'm guessing not nearly as merry. Only one way to find out. Haven't you ever seen a horror movie, Sammy? Dick Sellers always, always spell trouble. trouble. Yeah, but we're starring in a spy movie where we have to save the day. I hate it when she's right.
guess that explains the noise. Yeah, but would someone please explain everything else? Good evening, animal, animal unfriendly, unfriendly townsfolk, townsfolk, and welcome to the moment that's going to change your lives forever. Uh, let me out of here, you no good produce pushing vomit! Now, now, I know you're angry, but trust me, once you undergo the transformation, you'll be much happier. Why, even my sons were once leather-wearing carnivores like you, but ever since the transformation, they've become sympathetic soldiers in my vegan army. Vegan army? What's he talking about? And what's this transformation thingy he keeps mentioning? A waste of two perfectly good cuties! Intruders! Get them! Way to blow our cover, Clover! Someone's gotta stick up for human rights, especially when those humans are tray handsome. Ah! Ha! Ah! Ha! Now I know why I hate carrots! Yeah! Back off, broccoli boy! Ah! Hey! Where'd my hand go? Even if you are formally hunky, it's time to turn you into nutritious coleslaw! Hey, yeah! Oh! Think we showed them? <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> wow! For a vegan, you're just stubbornly good at hunky! The only thing worse than a meat eater is a spy. But don't worry, soon you'll see things my way. Uh, somehow I seriously doubt that. Yeah, there is no way we'll willingly go along with your crazy produce plans. You won't have a choice when my centrifuge combines your genes with the genes of the fresh produce. Now, if you'll excuse me, my boys and I have a local pig farmer to recruit. Okay, he is definitely on my top ten wackiest villains of all time list. Yeah, let's talk about that later. Right now, we gotta get off this thing! Just a little bit more? <laughs> Let's hit it, girls! We have a crazed organic farmer to foil! Guess my mom was right! Veggies really do make you big and strong! Stick around, but we have to be going. Great thinking, Alex. My favorite comfort food in the whole world, veggie lasagna, will never taste the same after today! <gasps> Look! That must be Farmer John! Does he 
seriously think he can outrun a state-of-the-art whoop chopper in a tractor? He wants to turn the world into militant produce people. Obviously, he's not thinking clearly. No worries. I've got a brilliant plan. They can't catch me! My tractor's powered by corn! One crazy farmer and his two scary sons coming right up! Yeah! -ha -ha! It's scary, all right, just not in the right way. Okay, take two. Man, this giant hook is harder to operate than it looks. Come on, Clover, third time's the charm. Got it! Way to go, Clover! Now all I gotta do is reel them in. Wait! It's too heavy! <laughs> what is it with us and dirt today? I don't know, but no matter what we do, we just can't seem to stay clean. Sammy! Oh, uh, nice, Piggy Piggy. Um, yeah, you don't want to come too close. No, really. My hands and feet and everything else dirty! <laughs> I'm not even gonna think about what's probably in all this gunk! <laughs> Come on! Farmer John and his sons couldn't have gotten far! <laughs> Say goodbye to your hog farming ways, mister! It's time to be transformed! On the count of three! One! Two, three! Uh, gotcha! Uh, Not so fast, girly. I was a champion. Could take down cattle from 200 yards. I was a champion, too! Bev High Cheerleader of the Year! Uh, hey, uh, hey, where'd you go? Right here, Farmer Loser! Uh, hey. uh, uh. 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 This ought to hold you for a while. Whoa! Nice rope work, Clover! Now that that situation's tied up, we could use a little help over here. I'm on it. Time to bring in the harvest! <laughs> That's right! Clover always gets her militant produce man! <laughs> uh, maybe not! Farmer John's getting away! Not if this cowgirl has anything to say about it!
<laughs> Excellent work, Agent. Are you sure this is going to work, Chair? Well, let's hope so, because if the townsfolk keep rotting at this rate, we're in big trouble. <laughs> Looks like another freaky case is officially closed. Uh, not yet. This is from us to you. <gasps> A present for me? What is it? Open it and see. <laughs> A weekend retreat at the Desert Relaxin' Resort and Spa? You really came through for us this weekend. We just wanted to say sorry for doubting you. And thanks for getting down and dirty and being such a rockin' hands-on type of gal. <gasps> Herbal mud wraps? Detoxifying mud baths? French mud facial treatments? You'll spend the entire weekend immersed in nothing but mud. Isn't that exciting? Thanks, but I think I've had all the mud I can handle for a while. Hey! Being on the farm has taught me a few tricks to achieving that cute cowgirl look. First, you'll need an adorable gingham dress and two super cute hair braids. Add bronzing powder for that healthy outdoorsy glow and a bit of lip gloss to complete the au naturel look. And finally, every cowgirl needs a cowboy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go wrestle one up. Yeah! Yes! Gotcha! Yeah! All right! 